Okay, I'm going to talk real quick about the uh, idle stop and go and some of the things I've been seeing on the forums and just some of my opinions on <clears throat> some of the solutions these guys have been coming up with. So, um, basically, I, I drew it out here. You know, uh, you've got a microcontroller or your ECU that's <clears throat> controlling um, the push button. So, when you push the button, um, the idle stop and go will either turn on or off. It's a flip-flop circuit, right? So here's what's what I'm seeing on the forums, and it, it makes me kind of concerned. Is uh, guys are taking pieces of paper or wire, and they're pushing their button in, and they're holding it down, uh, and they're saying they're not having any, any problems. And I believe them, but there's uh, there's potential issues with that. And here's why: when this circuit gets closed, because this is a normally high, there's always a five volt going through this um, resistor. Once the circuit gets closed, there's current running down through ground. And if you short that out and you leave that current running constantly, I'm not 100% sure that this thing is going to last. Me personally, it's not what I would recommend. Um, it, it's, the circuit's not designed to be shorted out like that, and I just don't think it's a good idea. It may work now, but you know, kind of buyer beware if you're uh, tired of constantly pushing your idle stop and go. Uh, so on that topic, I found this guy on the Stinger forum. Uh, Bud Zeke, look him up. Guy's a genius. So what he came up with is he's uh, intercepting the signal um, but using his own microcontroller called an Arduino. Now Arduino is a programmable um, you know, unit that you can ha have it do hundreds of thousands of different things. And what he set up is he wrote code to intercept the signal anytime you push a button, whether it's sport mode, idle on and off, or auto hold. And it remembers that. So the next time you start the car, it spits out those to the ECU to match whatever was last. The guy's a genius, way ahead of his time. Good job, Bud Zeke. He's actually working on um, a manufactured version um, of this board. The challenge with that is not everyone's comfortable uh, buying a microcontroller, hooking up to a computer, downloading code. Um, it's just not for them. Um, I personally think it's great, but what I've come up with is even... A, not a better solution, but a, a one that suits me, and it's something in between, you know, just plain old shorting it out or going all in and getting a microcontroller, and that's using a timer relay. And I'm going to end up showing you guys that once I finish this video. So I've already got it sorted out. It, it tests out fine. So same circuit. You got your ECU. There's a 220 ohm resistor built into there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to intercept uh, this signal using a timer relay and I've got the timer relay uh, it's already bought it works great and it's programmable so basically once the timer gets power i.e. you turn the car on I've got it set up for a three second delay you can make that a one second you can make it a five second but I found three seconds pretty good and after three seconds it closes the switch which means it latches that which turns off your idle stop and go and then after a half second it opens it back up and it's done. This thing only costs about $12. It's super easy to install. There's only a couple wires to hook up. Very similar to Bud's Eats technique, but this will turn your idle stop and go off every time you get in the car and turn the key safely. It won't keep that switch latched and have constant current uh, flowing through the circuit the whole time your car's running. And I think it's probably one of the safer ways and just about anybody can do it. So next quick video, I'll show you how I uh, installed this thing.